I wanted to review the new Deluxe, but I wasn't sure exactly why. Like the Street Bob review I edited last week, the Deluxe hasn't changed much since the new Softail frame released back in 18. It's not a bike that I've strongly considered purchasing for myself, as it's not a bike that's really geared towards a buyer like me. And yet, it's a bike that I struggle to not look at every time I walk past it on the dealership floor. More so than perhaps any other Harley, the Deluxe is quintessentially American. It's the kind of bike that in black and white could be from any time period in the last 70 years. It's just, you know, the small details that give away its true youth. The LED lighting all the way around the bike, the USB port on the neck of the frame, the lack of a carb or choke, the three and a half inches of suspension travel, the aluminum triple tree, I mean, these are simply things that don't exist on heavyweight cruisers from 60 years ago. But from 10 feet in black and white, I, I wouldn't blame someone for thinking that it was from the 1950s. It's iconic, and if I had to guess, I would say it's what most people imagine when asked to think of a Harley Davidson. And I think that's why I wanted to do this review. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick walk around of this. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about the platform itself. I've done a, a pretty extensive uh, dive into the new Softail platform in the previous Street Bob review that I did. So go ahead and check that out if you wanna know more about the frame. Uh, and also, uh, Matt has a great video on the channel about the Softail frame where he got, was able to speak with the chief engineer for the, the project. So check that one out as well if you wanna know more. I'm gonna just take a quick look at the distinctive features of the deluxe model uh, itself. So here's the front end of the bike. You've got the triple headlight setup, which is iconic to the deluxe. You've got LED lighting all the way around. So those turn signals are, are LED as are the headlights. And then as we move towards the rear of the bike, you're gonna see that the tail light is LED as well. Here's the new instrument cluster. You've got the display in there with your fuel level and all sorts of other useful information. There's the LED tail light that I was talking about. Probably one of my favorite design features about the new Deluxe is that LED coffin tail light. Long fenders front and rear, which is of course an iconic feature of many Harley Davidsons, including the Deluxe and the Heritage. White walls with spoke wheels give that classic aesthetic to the tire and wheel combo. And then I'm a big fan of the new Deluxe badge in chrome there. I think it looks great on the fender. Although I am probably not as big a fan as the new tank badge. Um, uh, for whatever reason, I prefer the old style. The LED headlight setup not only looks great, it functions amazingly well. Uh, super, super bright. Uh, and uh, I don't think there's going to be any complaints from anybody in that department with the new reflector daymakers that came out in 2018 with the Softail lineup. So overall, the, the, the bike's really just about that chrome and classic look. I don't think it looks like a futuristic uh, version of an old deluxe. I think it's almost like a, a, a classic bike that's just refu you know, received a few modifications over the years. I think they did a really good job of keeping it uh, loyal or, or faithful to the, you know, the classic look that they were going for. And here's a uh, example of how they are typically modified in Southern California near our dealership. So you've got uh, a fat spoke 21 inch front wheel. You've got big ape hangers on it, extra chromes, so that front end's been chromed. Uh, pretty much anything that was available in the parts catalog in chrome is gonna be on these kinds of bikes here. Uh, you also typically see air ride as this bike has, braided cables for those, those bars. If they don't go with gangster apes, they're you know, usually gonna have uh, you know, uh, some sort of um, you know, beach bar, something along those lines. But uh, it's a great aesthetic, and when you roll up to a, a bike show and you slam the bike down on the rear with your air ride, uh, it's kind of a, a game over for everybody else. I mean, I don't know how you top that. So uh, really fun bikes to ride, super loud, uh, fast with the new motors, and uh, you know, obviously they got the, the right style. And here's the previous generation Deluxe. There's the badge I was talking about that I think I prefer slightly. Uh, but pretty much everything else on the on this bike is going to be inferior to the other bike. You're looking at a uh, less powerful motor with the 103 uh, over the 107, of course. And then uh, the frame is heavier and it's not as rigid. You don't have as much suspension travel and uh, the dampening is just not as good. So you get a lot more brake dive under heavy braking. Uh, you're lacking those LED headlights in the front, which is for me a, a really big deal. I mean, replacing all those head, those lights in the front of a, a previous generation Deluxe is, is, is quite expensive. And 
Um, and to me, it really dates the bike. Whereas when you look at uh, the new Deluxe here, it's uh, it's clearly just a, a a much nicer looking bike in my mind. And uh, there's there's extra creature comforts as well. So uh, you know, it's it's a, a win win win. I think when you go with the new platform, the bike handles better. It's lighter. It looks better. It runs cooler. It's more efficient. It's got longer range. I mean, I just don't see where the downside is with the new bike. And uh, so from here, we're going to go ahead and take a quick uh, ride with Matt and Andrew, and then they're going to share their thoughts with us about uh, the new Softail Deluxe. Just going to try to do as right turns as possible. <laughs> What's up guys, Matt here from Laid Loss Harley Davidson. So going at you with another review on a 2020 Softail Deluxe. So Andrew and I took these two bikes out. We had this bike, which is a stock Deluxe. We also took out a Deluxe that had some custom work to it, like bars and things like that. Uh, custom wheels on it, custom spoke wheels, kind of give it that you know, gangster outlook. that's so popular in our neck of the woods in Southern California, East LA style. So yeah, I took out the two bikes. A couple things I'll get out of the way. First of all, this has the new frame on it. So, you know, Harley Davidson's newest frame, which is a soft tail frame, came out in the 2018 model year. Huge improvement. The soft tail has completely changed. It was just a huge, huge change from the old soft tail frame to the new 2018 and newer soft tail frame. Uh, in some of my videos four, five, six years ago, when every time I talked about the, the soft tails and reviewed them, you know, I always said, you know, really Harley Davidson needs to make an entire chassis change. You know, the, si the soft tail is such an iconic frame within the Harley Davidson universe and within the Harley Davidson uh, brand. And they were just, they were just by today's standards and the way people ride these bikes and the expectations and the higher speeds that people take these bikes now, Harley Davidson just really needed to just overhaul the chassis and they did just that. And the new chassis on these bikes makes a huge difference. Really the biggest things that you're gonna see immediately when you get on these bikes, you have better travel in the suspension, so better ride comfort going down the roads, especially at higher speeds, like highway speeds. And you're also gonna have a lot better power to weight ratio. So Harley Davidson was able to reduce the weight by about 30 pounds approximately across the board on all the soft tails. And also, uh, lower lower heat so heat mitigation so with the milwaukee 8 engine that they they put into the the new frame you have less heat you have oil cooled oil circulating through what they call it's called the precision oil cooling system is is what harley davidson refers to it as and that really helps cool off the hottest, hottest part of the engine the heads which are also you know close to your your legs so lo less heat you have a, also a, a stiffer chassis as well so a lot stiffer than the old soft tail. So anytime you put an input into the bars, it reacts a lot quicker, a lot snappier, and a lot more crisp handling. So you also have better lean angle. So yeah, you can just ride these bikes a lot more aggressively than you could ride the old soft tail. The old soft tail, especially like the deluxes and the slims, the heritage, the, the bikes, the soft tails that have floorboards, they used to scrape real easily. And you can, you can certainly still scrape these, but you, you really have to lean it over you know, quite a bit more to scrape the floorboards. On, on the old Deluxe prior to the 18 model year, you'd scrape the boards on accident, you know, anytime you're really having a spirited ride through the canyons or, or whatever. So the Deluxe is really cool. It definitely fits a certain uh, style. It, it goes for that 50s look, that 50s era. You got a lot of like the full fenders, a lot of the trim around the fenders, which is certainly a big contrast 
uh, by you know a lot of the styles that are popular today like the bobber styles all of the bobber styles like the street bob fat bob uh, the slim they all have chopped fenders it's all real minimalist but on the deluxe you still have a lot of the chrome trim you have the the badging on the fender there that says deluxe you got the full light setup you have a pretty unique turn signal here as well again kind of that that 50s style but it's almost like a modernized 50s style to it the lighting is very nice, you know, with these headlamps up, up front. This is basically the equivalent of what uh, a Limited has up front. It, you've got the LED in the front, you've got the two passing lamps as well, so really good lighting. A lot of people don't really think about the functionality of the lighting as much as maybe they should, but the lighting is very good on, on a Deluxe. And then you've got, you know, white walls and spoke wheels on here. This is one of the only bikes that Harley Davidson ships from the factory. Uh, maybe the only one, if I'm not mistaken, that Harley ships from the factory with a white wall. Uh, and a spoke wheel. So a very classic look with the, uh, the spoke wheels. And you've also got kind of this, what they call, what we've kind of nicknamed around here, the dog dish style, like hub around the spokes as well. So very classic look. The, the deluxe around here, at least, a popular way that a lot of our customers customize it is they really go for that, that Vico look. I, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen my videos uh, in the recent past where we did a highlight of kind of the Vicla East LA Hispanic culture, like the Chicano culture in the Los Angeles area. And a lot of that was originated from the 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 East LA and the the Whittier Boulevard scene down there where the lowriders all originated. So it's kind of like that lowrider look, not to be mistaken with the soft tail and Dyna lowrider, but kind of that that Vato Chicano lowrider so if you guys haven't seen that video maybe check it out i'll link it in the in a card in the, the upper right hand corner here but yeah check that out and that's kind of what, where we see a lot of these bikes being being customized as but you know a lot of guys also just kind of like it keep that you know good old american 50s style as well so it was interesting for a long time around 2005 to about 2008 the Softail Deluxe at our dealership was actually probably the number one best-selling bike. Uh, and I, I kind of talked about this in my Street Glide video that I did, where we, we have definitely seen kind of a consumer shift, where I think a lot of guys were really into the, the Softails and the Deluxes especially, and that was kind of the cool bike to buy if you go back 12, 13, 15 years ago. And then you know somewhere around 2008, 2009, that's when, in 2009, that is actually when the touring bike frame came out. That's when we saw a lot of people shifting over to more of a, a touring-centric, a preferred bike, where a lot of guys were buying the street glides. That's when Harley-Davidson really started changing the styling on a lot of their baggers, like the, the road glide and the street glide came out. The street glide came out in 2006, but they didn't really start catching on, at least around here until about 2008, 2009. So the Deluxe definitely has, uh, it's, it's definitely a staple bike at our dealership anyways, historically speaking, where we saw just a ton of Deluxe sales. And the Deluxe still does uh, fairly well around here as well. But it's almost like with the, with the higher speeds, especially on the highways nowadays, the higher speeds and, and the more distance people are traveling, that some of the baggers have kind of taken the place of, of the Deluxe as far as the, the preferred bike around here. You have floorboards on here, so Again, more of a relaxed foot positioning. This isn't a bike that you really buy to you know, ride real aggressively, like maybe your Lowrider S or your Fat Bob. This is really just a pure cruiser in, in every sense of the word. So a lot of guys will get these for just that. These are really popular to really dress up with a lot of the chrome and everything on them as well, which I feel almost funny saying that just because that's always kind of been synonymous with Harley Davidson dressing them up in chrome, but I just feel like nowadays everything is all about going to all blacked out. I just feel like a lot of the accessorization that goes on now, especially with a lot of the younger riders, is, is kind of changing a little bit. But I feel like the, the Deluxe still retains. Uh, the more the chrome, the better. Uh, a lot of the classic stuff that people have done to Harley Davidson's in the past still look great on the Deluxe. And so the, the styling of the Deluxe is very, is very traditional Harley Davidson, I would say. For, for a long time, back in like the mid 90s, this bike was actually referred to as the Nostalgia. It wasn't until like the early 2000s, early to mid 2000s, that this bike was then called the Deluxe. So the bike, the FLSTN, was the model designation 
for the Softail Deluxe uh, prior to the frame change. It's now the FLDE, which they changed again in the 2018 model year. But the Heritage has, or excuse me, the Deluxe has had uh, a long history in the Harley Davidson's lineup for a long time. It's changed names a little bit over time, but it's always kind of been the same classic styling and you know, the, the same overall look and an image that it goes for today. So that really hasn't changed much, which is kind of, kind of cool. We good? Hey, can we keep it down over there? I'm trying to get work done. Are we rolling? So we're talking about the Deluxe. Softail Deluxe. So Matt and I just got off the new Deluxe, which is a really great bike. Um, the new Softail frame, as we all said, is, is just an awesome piece of machinery. Uh, riding the one with the 21 inch wheel and the aftermarket seat and bars. Uh, it's really awesome, man. It feels good. It rides really well. It had air ride, which I didn't know at the time. Going from that bike to the stock frame, just right away initially feeling the stock clutch pole and the stock seat and everything just felt a lot smoother. I mean, from modified to stock, I mean, there's just, there's quite a bit of difference. I mean, you're, you're modifying that bike towards the Vicla style where it has that look and, and feel to it. Uh, me personally, I like it. Uh, after riding that, I forgot what year it was, but I think it was like a 20, 11 or 2010 Deluxe in that past week of video that we did riding through East LA. That thing, I mean, was really fun. It was an older bike, older frame, older engine. Just felt really cool though. Uh, but yeah, these new frames are just solid. What do you think? Do you think Harley should black out the Deluxe? No. Um, absolutely not. The Deluxe is the bike to go with the Vicla style, if not the Road King or maybe the Heritage. Um, I never see the blacked out deluxe. I can't, I can't picture that. It's not, I think blacked out bikes are more performance oriented. They're more performance look. Um, when you get a deluxe, you're not caring about performance too much, although they do perform really well. But as far as being a deluxe, you're getting it for that classic styling, that chrome look, shiny this, is it available in chrome, I want it on my bike type look. Um, it's, it's that bike that it's gonna be around for a long time and I think there's a big market for it. Still. The new soft tail frame, how does it benefit to the modern day Vicla rider? Um, a lot, of, I've heard people say on the sales floor that people we're just kind of skeptical with the new engine, the new frame, as far as getting that Vicla style. Um, I think it's more beneficial. Uh, the lowering kits, I've, I've been told they're just a little bit easier to work with and less expensive. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but as far as benefiting from the bike and the power, I mean, just coming a long way from the lightness of the bike, the rigidity of the frame, the power in itself is just amazing and then when you throw that 21 on it and that new front suspension and all just it just works really well um, that's it as far as the old frame and the new frame i mean i see it a lot more beneficial as far as being the similar ride height uh, between the two frames and also having more three degrees more lean angle on the newer soft tail frame uh, and that is uh, due in part by the new mounting of the floorboards and getting a little bit more of that clearance on each side. So if you do want to lower it on either frame, I mean, you find it more beneficial doing it on the new frame, having more of that lean angle and you're not dragging your uh, floorboards as often. Bye.